up? My name is Marte. Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to Volus Vibes and welcome to a new day uh, with me wearing uh, this mask. And I have to wear this mask because hey, we're f I forgot to put the microphone on top. It's okay. Uh, I'm wearing this mask because my throat is not that nice. I'm feeling a little bit sick. It's okay though. I just do it so this little boy here does not get sick as well, huh, Jason? You slept nicely tonight, huh? Yeah. What? You slept actually very good until four o'clock. You slept perfectly well. How did you sleep after four o'clock? Waking up every hour. Waking up every hour. Oh, yeah. okay. It, it shit happens. It is early in the morning or early-ish in the morning. It is beautiful weather outside and that's a good thing also. And we're gonna do a little uh, photo uh, video shoot with these things. Right now we have, uh, this is a dolly. Uh, we can put it like that, for example, and let it move. <laughs> We're gonna use the 25 millimeter lens, then we're gonna use my microphone, the Rode Viogo Micro, I think. And then we're gonna use this little light by Andor. And all of these things are luckily provided by the guys of Tech It Series. Except for the microphone, because that's my uh, my thing. And the microphone is actually not even on the camera right now. But if you think, why is this vlog so nice, this footage so weird and stable, and it's like looking all different than usual, it's because I'm also going to use the Hohem Ice Daddy Gear gimbal. It's kind of heavy. For the ones who do not know what a gimbal is, uh, a gimbal is literally a machine with three engines, three rotors actually, and it makes sure that your uh, camera nicely stays balanced at all times. Now you can do it in different sets. It also rolls the pitch and a yaw and roll and now it works functions like normal again. But uh, yeah, this is kind of cool always to have a little gimbal. If you like these kind of getting gizmos, then you should definitely check out an old video that we did with the Zion Smooth Q, also a gimbal that I was given by, uh, or lent by Tech It Serious, the guys from Tech It Serious, and they uh, they gave me that thing that then, and that vlog is being watched very well, and the vlog in the end turned out amazing as well. Uh, I agree, I agree. See, I can communicate with him, Ilona was right. Uh, yeah, uh, I think I found my friend. I think I found my type. Anyway, we gotta pick up our, our, our chargers, our camera gear, we gotta get our batteries, and now we can go. I forgot to mention that I also am taking an entire backpack full of stuff. I have my tripod in there, I have uh, some filters in there for the lens, I've got an action cam in there for a time lapse. I think we can make something nice, but first, even though Ilona already made me coffee, we gotta get it. <laughs> That's how you get the day started. Good cup of coffee. Now I gotta head back to the store for a second because we, I parked already at the, at the Boxing Academy. Check the China store for a second because I need something for my camera first or for my setup to see if they have it. If they don't, well, too bad. It's not, 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 that, not that necessary, but... Not, 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 not that. It would definitely help. They probably already started inside. But it's okay because I just need footage of them working out. Uh, for the ones who didn't understand yet, last time I went to the Ring Boxing Academy and uh, they asked me to make a little promotional video. Too bad they did not have what I needed. I needed a little ball hat for my camera, but it's okay. Last time Dimitris gave it to me and I, this time I completely forgot about it. But it's okay. We're at the Boxing Academy, so we're gonna do some filming now. Oh, by the way, it's not just for boxing. It is also next door for yoga. So that's also why many times you see Yogi Balboa standing here in, uh, in the hashtags. <laughs> What did you think about that? A lot, a lot of filming. Actually, I was filming for uh, 
three hours. I liked it. And luckily I had the gimbal, I had another lens, I had a lot of good stuff. The, the building is, by the way, look at that, how cool it looks. You've got like the building, you've got the mountain next to it. Pretty awesome, pretty awesome. Uh, now it's time to get back home because we did our job and start editing because the sooner you get it done, the faster you can get another job maybe out of it. So uh, let's go home, get some stuff done, cuddle my boy, see if he's sleeping or not. Back home, like I already said. And when I came home, actually I ate some fish and I chilled a little bit on the couch and Ilona was breastfeeding Jason and Jason was not about to sleep and Ilona's now uh, making sure that her boobs are all the way empty, let's put it like yeah. that, so that you might hear that in the background. I was sitting here and I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this mister and I was just talking to some friends on uh, online and uh, I told them that he's already like 70 centimeters and he's a uh, decent weight, he's 9.3 kilos. Eh? Yeah, you're, you're a big boy, but uh, he's no, not fat. He's just on a heavy. Uh, he's on a heavy side. That's all. He's a big yeah, boy. Big, he's a big boy. Big. Can you hold it for me for a second? No. He just literally he destroyed it. Like I'm not kidding. I'm gonna put it down for a second, okay? Wee. Yeah, I'll just lay it on your head. It's okay. <laughs> this thing has a little clip on the bottom, and it's connected with a piece of fabric. And he literally ripped it all open. Like this is attached on the bottom, usually like that there. And yeah, the clip came loose already once. But this is not the clip, dude. You literally broke it. He wants to put it in his face now, huh? You want to stuff it in your face? <laughs> yes. Time to go outside for a second for a little walk. I want to see if that little puppy is there that I saw the other day as well here in the garden. Yes, he's here. He's so sweet. Look how pretty this little dog is. So pretty. So pretty, is she? So pretty. Oh, so pretty, are you? So pretty. It is a beautiful dog, right? Beautiful. Yeah. It's gonna die in this house. It is so sad because it's like a husky kind of breed, so and it's only sitting outside right now, which on one side is good, but it's also a puppy. So I don't know if it's very nice to keep your dog outside in the garden always. I know it's not always good to keep him inside as well, but still. I like it when a dog can go inside and outside whenever he or she wants, you know. I think that's the best thing. And the best thing actually is to have like a big garden with grass where you can dig and run around. I told Ilona earlier to put on a jacket because it might be cold. She was like, nah, she walked on the balcony, nah, it's not that cold. But in the sun, it's not cold now. But in the shadow, it is a little chilly. And what is she doing now? Getting on a vest. And your skateboard. When I started these vlogs, I remember that I used to go around with my longboard also. So I think I should undust my longboard in the future again. We get a little bit of exercise to get rid of this uh, I mean, today I was at a boxing academy, but maybe I should start longboarding again. Who knows? Literally, earlier I was talking to a friend of ours on the, on the app, and we were talking about the fact that Jason does not want to lay in his cart anymore. Ilona breastfed outside. I walked with him a little bit, he fell asleep, and we put him in his cart. And he fell asleep. So weird. <laughs> He's, he never wanted to sleep anymore in his cart. But now we're looking for some warm clothes because he's growing so fast. Because the vest that he's wearing right now barely fits anymore, huh? 60, how much size is it? Size again? 72. That one? Yeah. 70. That's a 70 and he's getting too, that's definitely too small. So we need something 86 or something so he can, so he can like live in a normal jacket again. How about this one? Yeah, nice trouser. Five years. 
fun fact. Uh, we're standing now with Jason in this elevator, but it was only a couple of months before you were going to give birth that we were also standing here, huh? picking his yeah. first baby clothes. Check this out. <laughs> what did you get? Stuff for the first time. And and this this has has it has ears. It has ears. Our kid will also have ears, hopefully. Yes. Look, look this is the day, by the way, before... Uh, wait, let's push a button, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is going to be two days and before we uh, tell you guys... This is two days before we tell you guys, actually, that we are no, to go going to be mom and dad. You're going to be mom? I'm going to be a mom, she's going to be dad. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> So last time at H&M we were looking for clothes for newborns, like not even the smallest size because the Johnny Collins told us don't buy the smallest size because he'll not wear it. Yeah. And literally we bought like one size bigger than that or two sizes bigger than that. Two sizes. And he only wore it once because he couldn't wear it afterwards anymore. And now we got a very nice big, uh, what's it called? Body warmer. We could, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's like a vest, but it's a, it's a jacket. It's a body warmer we say. Oh, the sleeves. Yeah, a body warmer we say in Dutch. A body warmer. A body warmer. But he also wake up, woke up already. Yeah? Again, we did not buy for six months old. We bought for a one year. Whatever you do to satisfy your child. <laughs> Tam -taram -taram. Okay, see you at home. Skipping into the next day, not home. Uh, yeah, I was supposed to be skipping to home, I know, but it didn't turn out that way because... Uh... Ah, hello. <laughs> hello. 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 Yeah, I was listening to music, but... <laughs> Listen to Paris. Pretty well. Uh -huh. We skipped to Dimitris to bring back the stuff for a second and he, he probably heard the music but I have yeah. to wake I have to wake up it's like it's 11:30 it is a quarter to 12 only metal only me eh, no actually this is a uh, college school run. Ah, okay it's never a school so <laughs> but uh yeah we, we had to bring back the stuff for a second so that's why <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see a, a nice video, by the way, you should check out the last video because they have a bicycle without a seat. And it's very interesting how you ride a bicycle without a seat. <laughs> okay, now it does have a seat though. Wait, but this is a seat from the, from the other one, right? Yeah, from, from the Xiaomi. Xiaomi. And this is a Fido D3. Fido D3. Electrical bicycle. And it goes faster than the Xiaomi? Yeah, around 30 kilometers. It has 300 kilowatts, I heard. Yeah, yeah. I remember. 300 kilowatts, so if you have 300 kilowatts in a car, it's kind of interesting. Because if you translate it to horsepower, it's around 150 horsepower. Can we cook with that? No, 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 no. And we will this. Susan, what is the car? this? Whoa! You know what? I think the other one is faster by pulling up that I, I have them I remember. And thanks for filming also. <laughs> oh, it's 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 thrilling. It's when you have a bicycle and you have to like push hard. Oh <laughs> if you have a, a good bicycle and you push hard, you get tired very easily. If you push this hard, you do like this if you push if you pull too hard. So cool. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, thanks again, Dimitris. Thanks again, Takatserius. Thanks again, everybody that has been watching this vlog. If you liked it, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below because I love to read them. We always reply. Check the link up here, by the way, uh, for the video of uh, the bike that I just rode. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next one.